I have made many a plan in my life, but I've never met a plan B. How That's you doing? Intro, wasn't it? it was all right. It was all right. It was okay. Yeah. I'm good, thanks. We're here on your tour bus outside the classic Grand in Glasgow. Yeah, man. And some pretty impressive um, graffiti art outside as well. It's all very was, cool. Uh, yeah, that we was commenting on. I feel very, you know, I'm sorry, we're touching hands here. I feel like, you know, I'm in your inner sanctum now. Is this where it all happens? And are there mad parties? Not yet, man. It's not a, uh, it's like the fourth date, so... Nothing too crazy has happened. Just You've got to wait after the fourth. How many dates does it take to go wild? I don't know. It just, it just happens, innit? You just sit back. You know it's going to happen. So you just sit back and you wait. Mm. Now, this is, you see, this is a great honour because not only are you in Scotland and you're about to do this show, mm. but you're also number one in the midweek charts. I know, I know. That's set massive, to go number one at the weekend. Yeah, I would reckon. That's massive. Like, you know what? I'm just, I'm happy that it's going to be a top ten record, you know, by the looks of it. You know, um... So number one's a bonus, man. She said love you more than words can say. She said love you, babe, hey, 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 babe. I want to know how how would you celebrate anyway? Because let's just extrapolate to the end of the week, right? You've got it. What happens? Do you go mental? Oh, you know what? My you know my sister rings me up every birthday, and she goes, "What do you want to do for your birthday?" And I hate thinking about how I'm going to celebrate. It just feels like stress because you've got to plan everything. You know, and when, whenever you plan your own parties, it always end up being a, you know, a headache, you know what I mean? So, um, I so guess... Plan B doesn't like the plan, basically. No, that's how I just resort to plan how B you just time. be? I just, I just hey. resort to plan B, so, you know what I mean? Uh, if somebody else was wanted to throw a party for me, if I got number one, then, yeah, you know, I'd, I'd happily turn up and have a good time. But, um... Yeah, I'm not planning anything. I think to, to to kind of plan something would be presumptuous. You know, I'm presuming I'm going to win, and I don't think that's a good attitude to have. You know what I mean? So I say, what you say, girl, it can't be right. Can you be in love with me? We only just met tonight. And stateside, are we doing some stuff in the US? It seems to be. I mean, it's it's the obvious step, isn't it? Um, yeah, man, if I get the opportunity to bring my music to the US, then, then I will. And if they're feeling it, then I'll work hard to, to kind of try and do what I've done here. And that's only going to open other opportunities for me in, in other avenues. You know, I've got into film now, yeah, started getting into too. directing. And, you know, yeah, you know, I'm ambitious and I, I want to be able to direct multi-million pound films one day, you know, with the best cast, you know, mm, because so I write film scripts, you know, and, and if I make... When I make my first film, I'm going to make that on a small budget, which I'm going to shoot this year, and it's called Ill Manners, and it's Manners, M-A-N-O-R-S, it's Manners where you live, um, and it's it's like a, a small budget, feature length, kind of hip-hop musical or hip-opera. Nice. Um, but it's, it's, it's quite a gritty film, and... Um, I'm looking for that to be my calling card, you know, then I've got other kind of films, I've got a kind of British gangster film that I wrote, which is it's kind of going to be like the British Godfather. Um, Lots of gore? No, not so much gore, just, just kind of really kind of, um, I don't know, just interesting story about kind of crime in the East End. <laughs> I'm ambitious and, and me bringing my music to America and it being successful is only going to make my life easier in the other aspects of my talent, you know, whether it be my, my kind of film work or, you know, my hip hop. You know, I think if, if the defamation of Strickland Banks is big, it means that when I bring out my next hip hop record, which is the Ballad of Belmarsh, which is, you know, again, surrounded around the, the character of Strickland Banks, I think, yeah. you know, it's going to be a lot easier for me to, to kind of get the way I make hip hop through to other people, get it through to the masses, you know, that was the problem with the first record, you know, people didn't get me, you know, and I think after this record they're going to get me and they're, they're going to be more open to giving my kind of, the way I make hip hop a chance, you know. She said love you more than more. 